Okay, the first thing that we have here is a pH meter. pH meter is just a tool that measures the acidity and alkalinity of the substance. Okay, so simply said, it measures how acidic or how alkaline a substance is. Okay, now we go to the next slide. We sometimes use a pH indicator or sometimes we use a litmus paper. And these are some things that we can use. They change their color when they come in contact with an acid or base. Okay, so um, whenever it's a base, then your litmus paper would usually change the color from red into blue. Or if it's blue, it's if it's a blue litmus paper, it's going to just uh, stay the same. It's just still going to be blue. If the substance is an acid and you have a blue litmus paper, then it's going to change its color into red. Okay, now you also have the term pH scale, and this one gives you the different colors according to your substance acidity or alkalinity. So if your substance is a neutral substance, okay, if you have a neutral substance there, the pH would be equal to seven, okay, pH value would be seven, and of course the color would be green. Okay, in your pH scale, your substance color would be green. If your substance is an acid, your pH value would be from one until 6.9, okay? So from seven going down, those are your acidic substances, okay? Now your bases will be from 7.1 going up towards 14, okay? So pH value of 7.1 towards 14, that would be your bases, all right? So this is your pH scale. Now, these are some common characteristics of your acid. First one, pH value, of course, is from 1 until 6.9. Turns litmus paper red. It has a sour taste. It can also corrode metals. And whenever you put it in a solution, it's going to produce your hydrogen ions, okay? Again, these are some characteristics of your acids. This video, of course, will be found in your classroom later, so you can just put all these notes in your notebook. Now, going to your base, the pH value, again, is 7.1 until 14. Turns this paper blue. It has a bitter taste as compared to the sour taste of your, your acid. It feels slippery, and it's also sometimes called your alkali. It produces hydroxide ions in a solution. So, again, if it is an acid, it is going to produce your hydrogen ions when placed in a solution, while for your base, it is going to produce hydroxide ions or OH ions in a solution. Now, you've also heard about the term amphoteric, okay? When you say amphoteric, this is a substance that can act as both an acid or a base. So one classic example for this would be your water. Okay, sometimes it can donate a proton, it can act as an acid and donate a proton, or sometimes it can also act as a base and accept a proton. So it entirely depends on the substance that it reacts with. Okay, so that's the term amphoteric. 